Hey, this is Brandon and Mike from What the Fish Here, making a cool little trip out to California to pick up some stock. So uh, we're gonna head in here to our favorite stopping ground, uh, Terribles. World's biggest gas station. That's right. Pick up some fish. Matching shirt. He wears a fish on his shirt just so he can only get fish. Brandon's uncle right now. Um, he's been hanging out here for an awful long time. This is my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Damn it, why didn't I think of that? My mother-in-law on a good day. Uh, wattage. Stop drinking this shit, but when you got an eight hour round trip, it doesn't hurt to have an energy drink because you're sitting in the vehicle. Full of energy. All right. What were we thinking, Josh? How about pretzels? <laughs> we're going pretzels, man. Everybody likes pretzels. Pretzels. You know, there's going to be people walking around like, oh, who's this guy? Because that's the same shit I would do if you're getting filmed. Like, pretty cool plane. So this is what usually happens when people see a billionaire walking around. They all stop and look because you're being recorded everywhere you go. You know what I mean? So struggle's real in this life, but you gotta do what you gotta do. See, now you want people to look at you and shit, think that you're actually a billionaire. I don't watch the news either. News on TV is horseshit. But he got time for that. Well, I went downstairs to get me a cold pot. It smelled like someone was barbecuing, and I said, Lord Jesus, it's a bar. <laughs> you haven't seen that? Oh my gosh, it's the funniest thing ever, dude. No, it's the Josh, you've seen that. Come on. Well, I went downstairs to get myself a cold pot, and it smelled like someone was barbecuing, and I said, Lord Jesus, it's a bar. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I was afraid for my life. You have not seen that. Was that guy trying to escape the fire out of his house? It was a lady, and oh. if you saw her before and after, yeah. like, she, you know, had a rough life her whole life, and all of a sudden you look at her now, all the advertisement, this lady's probably a millionaire. That's why we hired Josh, so that we could do something goofy, and just get like four million hits, and get all sorts of advertisements. So if you ever get bronchitis. Hey, it's Brandon, What the Fish. Hey, we're uh, here in uh, our importer picking up fish. As soon as we get back to Las Vegas, we'll show you what we brought in, do an unboxing video for you, so you can see all the, the fun fish that are coming into Vegas today. See you then. That's Alex over there taking a smoke break. Bringing out the heavy artillery here, fish. This is what happens when you come to spend a few hundred bucks, you walk out a couple thousand dollars later. I blame Alex and Eric. It can be, uh, it can be fun. Three boxes of fish. It can be a fun trip home. You get to babysit them. One jumps out, you gotta catch. Make sure you capture that one. Yeah, it must really work. <laughs> yeah. Looking for a couple oil boys. You know where we find them? There's a town about 10 miles down the road. Wait You're just in luck. Yeah. yeah. I apologize to that Adam guy. I just Those new uh, grilled steak burritos. I want no sour cream on mine. You want sour cream? Yeah. You like everything on? Okay. Jerry, already, you're done. Uh, I'll do a uh, double steak uh, grilled cheese burrito. I trust you. You're a professional. This because then we have to break it down by the store and stuff. Like, um, I'm gonna keep those mangrove jacks, both of them. I'm gonna see if I can put both of them in a tank as well. I'm gonna bring it. Well, he's saying these guys can be kept with other fish. I, said, I don't know, man. I saw some videos. These guys are savage bastards. So, uh, I see him. I know, but to what point? Yeah, until it swallows its ass, until it. Or it just has it, until it becomes an assassin one. Yeah, they had the golden Dorados there. I was like, I'm not bringing them back. Bigger, yeah. That's what his talking point is, is like, it's a lot easier for him to lose like a Neon Tetra than it is to lose like something he paid 20 bucks for. Yeah, you're not selling those kind of fish to somebody that says, oh, I gotta go, or uh, I can't spend 15 bucks on lunch. I go here, because I'll bring my lunch, because it's, you know, my sandwich and a bag of chips. That's not who's buying exotic fish, you know? So. Well, there's an inherent risk that goes with fish that's different than any other animal, too. They just die sometimes. 
Yeah, we know people in the hobby that they lose a twenty dollar fish. They're like, oh my god! You're like, they're yeah, contemplating to give it all up. Yeah, yeah. What our vacation lost a thousand dollars. So we just got back here from Las Vegas after a nice little long trip, four hours in the vehicle. So what we're gonna do is do a drip acclimation. So you got this little tube thing here and a filter thing that'll allow a certain amount of drip. So due to the pH change in the water chemistry that we have in California, which is a lower pH, and we have a higher pH here, so you have to drip acclimate them. That, usually it's good to do it for about an hour and a half. So it'll slowly transition the fish into the right parameter that they're gonna be in instead of stressing them out and dying. So uh, it's really important that people drip, especially when they're taking things from different waters. Especially like California it has like a 7 pH, 6.8 pH, to Las Vegas is like eight and a half. So you don't want to kill your fish, especially if you're spending big bucks. So we're about to drip acclimate these guys. They're called uh, red Atabapo pikes. These are really pretty fish, probably kind of hard to see with the lighting in here. But um, it is uh, one of the prettiest pikes in the hobby. They're about a foot long each, so we're going to drip acclimate them for about an hour and a half. Uh, so we brought back several boxes. This is one of the boxes we have. Uh, they're ready to be shipped if we want to ship out or unpack. They actually live in these for about two days because we used like the Pure O2, right? So uh, with that being said, we're going to continue acclimating the rest of the fish. So I just want to give a shout out to Mr. Josh of Soaring Eagle Media for uh, taking the time to roll with us to California, videotape all of the videos, all the fish. I'm really looking forward to the content that he's going to create and help uh, drive our business. So uh, thank you. I don't need a... Uh, oh, here. What the fish is this? Oh, this is yours. Never mind. Mangrove Jack for Michael.